Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the, they're kind of not new anymore, but new to me, um, the Armani bronzer, the Armani liquid blushes, as well as the Armani Prisma Glass glosses. This is the newest shade, this one is nude I believe. So if you wanted to see how I like these products and what they look like on, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm exhausted, <laughs> if you can tell. I did not get a lot of sleep last night, so I'm sorry if I'm a little disheveled and a little, just because I'm, yeah, I'm tired. But anyway, that's okay. I mean, it's not okay. There were some crazy guys out there yesterday yelling at each other at like 1.30 in the morning. It was kind of scary like we really need to move <laughs> but anyways okay i'm gonna start with this this is the delba um what does it say P piedmont piedmont uh delba aromatic spray serum so everybody's talking about this so i'm like i'm just gonna get it but i think it's pretty glowy so i'm gonna do it as a serum to start I'm just gonna grab a towel. This is why I always have a towel here if you're wondering because I just need the spray on this is magical. So I don't know, is it to set the face? I don't know, but I do it first. And then I'm using the Ilia, the base face milk almost out of it but honestly I have to say this little thing has lasted me for so long so I'm shocked and happy that it's lasted so long because I'm like just this little thing was like $30 <laughs> and I'm like uh, I'm gonna go through this probably so fast but I don't use a ton of it and I don't know it's just really lightweight and nice usually I would go in with my Clinique um what's it called this one moisture surge but I feel sorry hiccup I feel for some reason like that one is making me a little bit too glowy and oily I do like it though because I feel like it really does plump the skin because it's very moisturizing but you know okay so then I'm gonna just do my honestly I just use the number seven protect and perfect intense advanced eye cream I like this one because it's not too heavy I feel like it's like the perfect amount of moisture under my eyes because sometimes I feel like if you moisturize too much under the eye your concealer will just like slip and slide and it's hard to set you have to use more powder to set your under eye and then that's when things start looking cakey so i tend to not use a ton of moisturizer under my eye okay so now i'm gonna go in with sunscreen i just got this one the la Roche posay anthelios xl 60 spf gel cream touch so this is supposed to be anti-shine. It smells weird though. Does anybody have this? It's still good. I checked. It's good until 2026. I just got it. And I know I'm supposed to put way more than I'm going to put, but I don't like having like a really thick layer of it. I just, I don't know. It makes my skin feel gross. And I don't think this causes flashback. I don't really know because I don't really. It smells like a tire. It smells like rubber. Why does it smell like rubber? Why? Can anybody confirm? Is this what this is supposed to smell like? Rubber. That's what I'm getting from this. And it's feeling pretty shiny right now. I don't know why. The other day I put it on, it felt a little bit more matte. And I know I should, I usually have time to let things sit, you know, like let my moisturizer sink in, let my sunscreen sink in, but today's not the day. Today we're in a hurry. We have a doctor's appointment and well, 
not really an appointment. I just have to PMI, bring a pee sample in. <laughs> so I just have to drop that off quickly and then I have to go. Sorry, it's my mirror. Um, I have to go to get my hair done, finally. See, so yeah, I didn't wait long enough, so now we're pilling a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. So I wasn't even going to do this video, but I'm just thinking, like, this weekend is going to be a crazy weekend. I have today off, luckily. Took a vacation day. Yeah, we're getting some pilling here. Um. Yeah, so I took a vacation day because I couldn't find any other time that I could get my hair done. I actually had it booked for tomorrow, which is Saturday, but then realized we have a wedding to go to tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, today was really the only day. Maybe I'll show you a little after of once I get my hair done too. Oh yeah, this is pilling like crazy. What the heck? I didn't, I didn't even put that much. Okay, so we're just gonna tap that in. Again, I don't have time to mess around, so we're just gonna go straight into the foundation. I'm using, just to go with the theme of the video, the Armani Luminous Silk, and I have the shade four. I thought I had three. I think I exchanged it. Oh, okay. So let's maybe just clip the hair for a minute here. Do you guys wash your hair before you go to the hairdresser? Like I was on day f like three or four yesterday, so I definitely had to wash my hair. So I washed my hair last night and it was still wet this morning. Oh my gosh, I look like a little boy. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, we'll get to it. But yeah, do you wash your hair or no? Because I just felt like I had to. I, there's no way I could have left it the way it was because it was greasy. It actually wasn't that greasy. And the reason is because that K18, that K18 is really good. Like, listen, I'm not here to promote, like, I'm sorry I say like so much. I realized that in my last video and now it's driving me crazy. So we're not going to do that anymore. Um, yeah, I'm not here to promote a super expensive product because you can find great, well, I guess I am here to promote it because I have super expensive makeup that I'm talking about, but I'm telling you if you need to spend your money or not on it because most of the time you don't. You can find great makeup and skincare at the drugstore, but anyway, this K18 dry shampoo. It's astronomically expensive, okay? Like, I said like again. I'm sorry. It is ridiculously expensive, but I do... I don't want to say it's worth it because the price is stupid. But I have to say, I do use way, way less than if I'm using a normal, like, aerosol. And I can't help myself. Am I a valley girl? What's going on? The shade is not perfect on me. I think the other one was too light. And this one almost looks a little bit, I don't know, peachy maybe when I first put it on. Like it blends into the skin, so it's not bad. I don't know. It's okay. I feel like this brush absorbs so much product. I always have to use so much more product when I'm using this brush. This is a newer one. I just got it on Amazon. It's the Real Techniques 449. It's a really good brush though. I just don't like that it soaks up so much product because I feel like I'm constantly adding more and normally I'll usually use maybe just like a, a pump and a tiny bit. So because my nose gets so oily, sometimes what I do is just take 
a matte foundation and use it on my nose because that's the one spot I do not like to be shiny. Like, get off of my nose, go away. We don't need to enhance this. I don't like it. Shiny, no shine. And I don't have uh, the Luminous Silk Concealer, so I'm just gonna go in quickly with something that I have. Uh, I also don't have, do they have a powder? I'm assuming they do. They must. Is it called Luminous Silk? I don't know. So this is the first time I'm actually trying the blushes. I tried them on just over what I was wearing yesterday just to kind of see what they looked like but I haven't actually worn them all day or anything so we'll see so I do have a bit of a glow but that's to be expected also these guys on motorcycles need to just zip up zip it I know they do it on purpose when they're like zzz, zzz, zzz. I'm like and especially when they do it at you know midnight and whatnot I don't I haven't always been like this I feel like I don't know mid 30s I became super sensitive to noise <laughs> what's that about I don't know but I just cannot handle like really loud noises and I don't know, is that normal? I haven't always been like this. I don't know, I didn't care. But even when my fiance has a show on really loud or like something on YouTube, I'm like, can you please just turn it down? I can't. I feel like Ross when he's like, you know? But yeah, I don't know why. It just like does something to me. <laughs> and at work, listen to this. Thank God I'm changing desks. But I've been there for a while already. So I've been dealing with this for like three years. I sit in front of the washrooms. Like there are two desks there one in front of me and then my desk. So it's nice, there's not really anybody around. There's offices right beside me, but for the most part, I was like, okay, it's gonna be quiet here. When I picked that desk, I thought, this is gonna be a great spot. <laughs> I'm in front of the men's washroom. And when I tell you, I don't know if I've already told this story before. <laughs> And if I have, I apologize. When I tell you there's no soundproofing, there ain't no soundproofing. I'm being serious. There, you hear everything. And I'm not exaggerating. So I just know who the culprits are. And I'm like, pop my earbuds in. And even when I do that, It sometimes doesn't help. It's pretty bad. So I feel sorry for whoever's gonna sit directly in front of the men's washroom and then what they do afterward is they like huddle around the men's washroom and just have, you know, it's basically like the water cooler. They just have some chats and <laughs> just stand there and chat away and I'm like, sirs, can you please? I feel bad because they're all super nice, but it's just hard to concentrate. That's another thing, like maybe I have ADHD or something because I find it like really hard to concentrate when there's a lot of noise. That's why I love being able to work from home sometimes because 
I can just actually get stuff done. So, <laughs> I'm still just a little tidbit about my office, but yeah, I'm moving, thank goodness. I'm moving, I think this weekend, actually, they're, mo they're changing my desk over. Which kind of sucks because you get used to being in a spot, but I mean, with that, for some reason, my concealer, sorry, this is the concealer I'm using, if you're wondering, Tower 28, and then I use the same thing all the time, basically. I was switching it up a little bit this week. I was using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, but I seem to always go back to the Tower 28. Have you seen the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Concealer? I think I will pick that one up. I haven't tried any of her Yummy Skin products besides like the blush, but I haven't tried any of the the bomb that like bomb powder or whatever it's called. And I haven't tried the Yummy Skin skin tint because I feel like that looks too glowy for me. Um, and then there was another one. There was like a liquid powder. I kind of want to try that. If it's going to mattify the skin. Because that's what I need at this time of year. Give me all the mattifying products I can get my hands on. Speaking of which... Going in with the NARS Advanced Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. And now let's kind of kick it up a notch here because I got to get going. I'm trying to find my powder puff. Got one. Good, it's brand new. And just with this one, I try not to... Like I like to kind of just smooth it over the face I don't grab too too much product but I try not to go in my smile lines because I find when I do that with a powder it seems to cake up in the smile lines I know it's supposed to help prevent it from creasing but it kind of does the opposite for me so I just don't even bother with that but I feel like this one is one of the only ones that will actually keep me matte all day like Huda is good but it looks cakier on me than this one does and it seems to not keep me as matte which is crazy because everyone talks about how mattifying it is but this is really kind of my problem area just right right here the schnoz you know Okay, I forgot to grab the bronzer, so I will be right back and grab that. Okay, I was wondering why my shirt looked so high up my neck. You know I'm tired when? It was on backwards, okay? Just the old, the old swaparoo. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the Armani Luminous Silk Sunlit Creamy Bronzing Powder. So this does have skin caring ingredients in it. Um, that skin caring, sorry, oils that help it glide onto the skin and gives a radiant appearance. I've worn it though, so I know how I feel about it. And I do have the shade 90. So you can see it does have some sparkle to it and I can see it on the skin a lot of people think say you can't see it I mean I can in the sunlight for sure but this is the shade and I wasn't gonna get it okay I wasn't gonna get it because I'm like listen I've talked about it in videos I'm not getting that because I have the Chanel ones and I was just thinking, how many do I need? But then I saw Kathy using it. 
and she is the exact same skin tone as I am and so it looked really good on her and I was just thinking well she can wear that one and I was worried because number 90 I thought looked pretty yellow online and it does lean more like golden olive but I like that so I wasn't mad about it I mean obviously if they're too yellow that's an issue but this one isn't it's deep enough on me that it works as you can see there is a glow and in the sun you can see like tiny little particles but it's not by any means like glittery or you know it's not too much is what I should say because you can see them they're there but it gives like it does give a nice kind of glow and finish to the skin so I don't hate it or anything yesterday I went ham and I realized how bronzed I looked in the mirror <laughs> It's hard to tell sometimes because I'm in natural light and so sometimes it's it's brighter in here and then when I get into the washroom I'm like whoa what happened but I think it's okay today with the little underneath here I'm wondering why I've been wanting to try the Buttermelt Bronzers by NYX. We're yelling outside. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been wanting to try the Buttermelt Bronzers, but for some reason, they're not available in Canada. Like, what? are we doing NYX? Why? I don't know why they do that. Why do they make them? I understand the sunscreen thing because there's regulations and but makeup products that don't contain sunscreen. Why does it take so long? Is it just me? I don't know. So this is beautiful. I have to say I am impressed with it. I'm not mad that I bought it. It is very creamy to apply. As you can see, it just blends out pretty seamlessly. I haven't had any issues. And again, I have number 90. And let's go in with blushes. So I have two. Listen, I was only gonna get one. Sorry, I'm just looking for the brush that I like to use with my cream. Mm. Move this over here. Um, yeah, I was only gonna get one, and then I was influenced, you know. I was watching Rhoda paint the face. If you haven't seen her, go check her out. She's awesome, She's very beautiful, and does such very pretty looks. Such very pretty looks, though. So. I'm tired. Give me a break. Um, and Tanya B. Wells. So they were both talking about the shade Rosy Peach. Which is this one here. And I also have the shade Vivid Coral. So Vivid Coral was, um, the one that I initially bought because I was thinking, you know, it's something different. And then everybody was talking about this one and how beautiful it was. So I'm like, okay, we're getting them both. So these are supposed to be, does it have anything on here? I did read up about them. They're supposed to last 24 hours. There's something called microfill technology. I forgot to mention, there are four bronzer shades and I believe there are six or eight don't quote me. I think there are six or eight of the blushes. I'll have to double check. Okay, so this is Vivid Coral. 
and I just want to work quickly but you don't have to work quickly like you do with Like Rare Beauty, I feel like, maybe dries down a little bit quicker. So this one has something called Microfill Technology, which helps to seamlessly blend the product. And yeah, they're supposed to last for up to 24 hours. I mean, I'll never wear my makeup for 24 hours, I don't think. But... It's very pretty. I applied it over my blush yesterday, so it looked a little scary, like scary orange, but I think that looks nice. What do you think? For some reason, I don't know if it's because there's a shadow on this side, but everything looks darker on this side of my face rather than this side. So now we're going to go in with Rosy Peach. So yeah, Tanya. And Rhoda, if you watch this, this is your fault. <laughs> so I just wiped off my brush a little bit there and now I'm going in with the Rosy Peach. And at first, just by looking at them, I was thinking, oh my gosh, these two look identical. What was I thinking? But they actually look quite different on the skin once you blend them out. This one's much more rosy. This one's much more coral. Which one do you like better? I couldn't handle the clips, but now I can't handle my hair in front of my face. Mm. That looks quite pretty as well. I don't know. So we have coral, vivid coral, sorry, and rosy peach. They're both very pretty. And I feel like I, I'm not normally a person to dot it on my face, but it's nice to know that you can do that and you're not stuck with, you know, sometimes you're stuck with a little spot that you can see, even though you blend it out good, you're stuck with a little tiny bit. So I think I'm not going to do highlight today. I just don't think I need it. I think we're luminous. We are luminous. And I'm going to quickly do my eyes. I say quickly and hopefully I can do them quickly and I've just been using this so much this seems to be my summer go-to this is just the super nudes easy eye palette and I just go in with this shade here I'll try to kind of step on it over here because I gotta rush a little bit and if you can hear my stomach I apologize I haven't eaten breakfast so I'll also have to do that before I leave But yeah, for some reason, I don't know, this one just goes with every type of vibrant blush that I wear. It's just very neutral and pretty. And yeah, I never have any issues with it acting a fool. <laughs> it just always looks nice. You know, it's one of those ones that you can just count on. You're like, what do I wear? I don't know. I don't have enough time to think about it. It's one of those palettes that you can just slap on and it looks good. And then I just go in with these two shadows here. This one here and this grayish one there. And then I just go in my crease with that. Yeah, so this is kind of what I wear, like, on a regular basis for work. Because I just need something quick in the morning. Ugh, I'm feeling so tired all of a sudden. Like, really tired. I'm so frustrated. I know, I don't know if you remember me talking about waiting to go see a rheumatologist. Because I get, I'm worried we get this weird joint pain and I'm not sure if it's arthritis I don't want either one or lupus which I really hope it's not but neither one sound fun you know and I'm not sure 
And for some reason, this rheumatologist, I've been on the list for, I want to say like seven months now. And they said, oh, probably by June you'll get an appointment. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, that's so far away. And so now it's June. So I called and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And they're just like, okay, sorry, I'm going in with this shade now. And they said that the lady that I have, that I was referred to, I guess, is away for like three months on vacation, which we're all entitled to a vacation, okay? I get it. But I mean, at a time, that's a lot of time. So no wonder I can't get in because she gone forever. Um, so yeah, the girl was just telling me that it normally takes sometimes up to a year. And I said, well, it's kind of almost been a year. So what's the status? And yep, yeah, nope, still waiting. So I called my doctor and I said, hey, oh, I didn't even know that was in there. This Victoria Beckham sharpener. How did I not know this? There's a little like pin thing to clean it out. Wow. Okay. Good to know. So you just, how did I not notice that? It just fell out, which is how I noticed it. But I've been really liking the Makeup by Mario sharpener. That one seems to sharpen the Victoria Beckham pencils the best, better than the actual Victoria Beckham sharpener. I have issues with that one. It eats up the whole pen. This one, great. So I'm just using Ash. I don't know why I had to look because I use this one all the time. So I've done this look multiple times on my channel. I just, sorry, again, my stomach grumbling. Gosh, I need to eat. So just simple. And it's a little bit messy, which is fine because we're gonna be just blending that out anyways with a angled brush or a pencil brush, whatever I can find first, pencil brush it is. So we're gonna go in with that darkest brown and the black, kind of mix the two. pencil brush. I can't find my really good one. I have this MAC one. Actually, sometimes I like going in with this one. It's just, a, I think, a detailer brush, it's called, by uh, Real Techniques. And sometimes I can actually get more precise with this little one than I can even with a angled brush. But yeah, the one I love is this really old looks a little intense but it's okay it's really old mac one and i don't think they sell it anymore and mac is no longer in my mall it's kind of sad it's an end of an era they moved it to polo park which we already had one at Polo Park, but not a freestanding store. So the freestanding store is there and they're still at the Bay, I believe. I used to work at the Bay at my mall. And the, I don't know why I'm going so crazy with the wings. I didn't mean to do that, but what's done is done. Um, but yeah, then they, they closed the one at the Bay and they kept the freestanding one, but then they started selling it at Sephora, which was just like right around the corner. So I kind of think that's the reason they closed it. I know that uh, that mall near my house is super, super expensive for rent. So I think that was also a factor. But I can't imagine the other mall would be any cheaper because it's bigger and 
They just get more foot traffic though. Our mall is just garbage. We're losing every store. Honestly, the only stores I go to there, maybe sport check sometimes. Um, clothing stores, there's not really anything good anymore. There, like, I don't understand why they don't put like an H and M in there. They made this huge Arden store, which nobody really goes to. It's always empty every time I look in there. And then, like, our gym is there, so we were there all the time because we go to the gym. But yeah, Walmart, Sephora, Dynamite, that's basically RW and Co. sometimes. Okay, so my my lines, my wings are very, very thick today, but I just, I don't have time. So I'm not going to get all caught up on that. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know why we're losing all of our good stores. For a little while during Christmas time, they had a Lululemon in there, which I thought was doing very well. But I don't know what that was about. It was just kind of like a pop-up thing and then it was gone. And then never to be seen again. But I feel like if they had like a Lulu, an H&M, maybe a Zara, something. I don't know. We got nothing. And so when we go to Polo Park, we're just like, okay. Party time because we never get to shop at the good stores. Aritzia, you know? Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my mascara and my brows and I will be back. Okay, I ate some breakfast. I got my brows done, the lashes done. I just put on Endless Cacao, Coco, Cacao, um, by Makeup Forever. And I'll show you what it looks like just on its own. Sorry, I have the gloss here, the Prisma Gloss in the shade. 07, I think it's just nude. Um, and I thought it would be a little bit lighter than what it is. It looked a little bit more, I don't know. But there's not a ton of pigment. So this lip gloss, something's up with my lips. Like everything I put on them burns. So this like burns immediately, but I don't think it's really plumping. It has squalene in it, which I help, I think helps to hydrate the lips. So I don't think it should be burning. I think there's something up with my lips. But if you look closely in this one, you can see little like pinky and blue, maybe like purpley particles in there. It says it's supposed to help reflect the light, but I like wearing this with a lipstick. So this is how it looks without. This is just the gloss. But as you know, if you've watched my channel, I do like a lighter lip. So I'm just going in with my lipstick first. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with my lips. And I'm wondering if it's because I sometimes take my toothbrush and I just like try to get the dead skin off my lips. And I think maybe it's the toothpaste that's making my lips burn. I don't know. Tell me because I hydrate them every night. These lipsticks that I'm using are more hydrating. They're not like super, super matte. So I don't know what the issue is, but yeah, they're like flaky, crusty and dusty. What am I doing wrong? Okay, so I like to put my lipstick on, then add the gloss. because there's really not much color to it. Like I'll show you on my hand. It's not, it actually kind of reminds me a little bit if you have this gloss here. Tan line by Victoria Beckham, sorry.
very similar. Tan Lines is a little bit warmer. So this is Tan Lines. This is what she looks like. Um, but yeah, those are really nice. I wish they had a tiny bit of a scent to them. These are unscented also, so that would be pretty good news for most people. I like a little hint of vanilla or something, like something in there, but I can understand how people don't like scent and then you start tasting it and that's, uh, unless it's, you know, vanilla or something fruity, then it's not really great to taste, you know, perfumey scent. But um, this is the makeup look. So I think what I'm gonna do is just quickly, quickly, cause I gotta get going here. Um, add the rosy peach to the other side and then add the so this was the vivid coral side I'm adding a tiny bit of the rosy peach there just to blend the two shades together so yeah these are very nice I'm just more a powder girly maybe it's just because I'm oily these are very I don't want to say blurring, but they're definitely like pore softening. So even though they say there's kind of a sheen to them, I'm not getting that overly accentuated pore look. I feel like they're they're not blurred by any means, but they're not overly accentuated either. I just added a bit of vivid coral to this side. I don't know why I like this brush, but it just seems like it's so soft and smooth and just blends everything out really easily, especially when it comes to the cream products. Are we good? I don't know. I'm probably putting, I'm just putting way too much now. I don't think you need both of these shades, but if you do, depends. If you like an orangey, a more orangey shade, go with the Vivid Coral. And if you like, like a peachy pink, as in the name, <laughs> Rosy Peach, then I feel like you would definitely like this one better. But now they're mixed together, so. Um, let's just... So that is it. I would definitely recommend the bronzer for sure. I really, really like the bronzer. Had no issues with it. Um, I do get like a little bit shiny in the day, but that's just normal. That's just my oils coming through. Sorry, throwing something away in my garbage. But um, did I need these? No, am I mad that I have them? No. I'm happy to have them, especially for the summertime. I think they're both very beautiful shades and they're nice and easy to apply. I just tend to like lean more towards a powder just because I'm oily and it's just easy. You don't have to worry about making sure you get a good blend and yeah. And then the gloss, I really, really like it. There's not much to say about it. It feels nice on the lips, feels kind of like an oil. Feels similar to the new Fenty Gloss Balm Oil, like, it's not going to last, okay? It's it's a gloss. It's not going to last on the lips, but it's nice. It's pretty. And I don't think it's worth the price, though. I don't know. For a gloss, it's too much. The packaging is very beautiful. It's pretty. Um, but I just think it's too much for what it is. But yeah, I hope this helped and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll probably be back just to show you my hair quickly. Hopefully I like it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is the makeup in the more, more sunlight and I think it looks really good. Sorry, I was in a rush earlier so I really had to like wrap it up because I had to be at the doctor's office um, and now I'm half an hour early for my hair appointment so I'm just sitting in my car just chilling so I do 
really like the bronzer. I think the bronzer was something crazy like 18 grams of product. Do I think you're ever going to go through that before it expires? Probably not, but I really like it. Um, and I don't find, like, even though it does give a glow and it does have, like, a little subtle... I wonder if I can see it. Can you see the sparkle? I don't know. But sometimes you could see it just, like, in the sunlight, but that doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me with a highlight either. So if that's something that bothers you, you, you might not want to get it. But it's not super obvious. It doesn't look like glitter is what I'm trying to say in English. <laughs> um, but yeah, the blushes are super, super nice. And I think they're very pretty. And I think if you're in the market for a liquid blush, I, I just bought them because I really wanted to try them. Do I need them? No, but I'm obviously going to keep them because I think they're very pretty and very summery. Uh, yesterday, I actually pulled out, what was I wearing? Oh yeah, Ordanza Cien from Givenchy. And I forgot how beautiful that one was. I'm like, why don't I wear this? Very beautiful, especially for summer. It's kind of like the burnt, it has a mix between like a light kind of pinky tone, but there's like a burnt orange in there. And it's very pretty, very reminiscent of what I'm wearing today. But yeah, the only thing I would say is not really worth it would be the gloss because I mean, it's just a gloss. It feels the same as any other gloss, and I just don't think, I mean, maybe American it's worth it, but like Canadian, I think it was like $50, which, I mean, it's ridiculous. Look at this. Look how long this is. It's insane. I'll be so happy to get a nice trim, and this is going to be my wedding hair color, so the I hope it's good. She did a good job last time, so. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I might do a little bit of a vlog. We're going out of town tomorrow. So we'll see. If I have time, maybe I'll just quickly do a quick get ready with me. Seems like I'm getting my golden palette today. Finally, it says it's out for delivery. So it's going to my work and I'm off today, which didn't really think that through but I, well, I wasn't sure when it was gonna come. So I might just stop by my work after my hair appointment and see if it's there. So maybe I'll do a quick little get ready with me if I have time tomorrow before the wedding and then maybe I'll just do a quick little video of us at the wedding. I'm not sure. Um, let me know if you wanted to see a dedicated video to the golden palette. I know there are so, so many out there. I don't have the gold palette, so I can't compare it but there's so many online. I don't think you need a comparison again from me because basically what everybody's saying is the gold palettes formula was a little bit better than the golden, but seems like a lot of people are really liking it. So let me know. Do you just want to see a normal get ready with me or do you want to see like a dedicated video to the golden palette? Let me know. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I love ya. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you my hair when it's done. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I'll show you that when I'm done. Bye. So here's the final result. It's looking very, very blonde. Much blonder than I'm used to. I'm used to all my roots. But um, I think once the toner washes out a little bit, we'll be good. My eyebrows feel so dark now. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the final result. She curled it a little bit for me. I don't really curl my hair very often, but yeah, here is the hair result. Anyway, I hope you have a great weekend and look what I finally got. So we will be doing a little get ready with me using this. So have a great weekend. Bye.